this signed on. Ah. Holy crap. It's Tuesday! Yeah. Crap. I don't want this to be like yesterday. Done with the video until really late. Huh. These were like real events, except for I didn't have toast for breakfast. That was actually... That was actually my lunch. Um, I didn't forget that it was Tuesday, but I just sort of was so distracted by the fact that Rena is coming out today! Must get to the Mall of America! I, um, I kind of forgot that I was obligated to do this video today. But here I am! This week we're talking about uh, Star Trek versus Star Wars. What do we like better and why? All in all, they're both really awesome. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to pick Star Trek only just because I think that a combination of Star Trek and Power Rangers is what made me a, a Gundam nerd. And uh, I, I love being a Gundam nerd, and I would never want to trade in my Gundam nerd ship for anything. Now, while Star Wars probably had some kind of play in that, I think uh, character-wise, story-wise, I tend to lead toward uh, the Gundam series that remind me of Star Trek, like Wing, for example. Um, Wing is very similar to, like, the next generation in, in storyline. Not storyline-wise, but, like, the way the story is told, I suppose. Um, so I think I'd have to go with that. But I do have to agree with Kay on one thing uh, that she said yesterday, which was that Star Wars has a lot of plot faults between um, the, the prequel and the sequel trilogies. Uh, like, for example, at one point, Leia says that she remembers her mother, yet her mother died in childbirth. To me, that just doesn't make any sense. Um, so, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't... There are just some things that didn't make sense. It felt like that last movie was just him going, I have this idea, but I'm not sure how to formulate it. Because I know he had the entire idea from... The, from Anakin as a kid all the way to the sixth Star Wars film, but he just liked the second half better, which I guess is why he labeled it number four and just continued, because he had created like this whole story but could only tell parts of it. And uh, so I know he knew the whole story, but I think at the end he finally just either ran out of ideas to, on how to tell the story, or he hadn't quite figured out that middle part which was, of course, where, where Padme was gonna give birth and Anakin becomes evil and all that stuff. Um, so I just, I don't know if, I don't know what happened there. I just, I, there are just a lot of faults. I, I love the third movie, I'll be honest, I really do. I think it was a really well put together film. I think that the acting was superb. I think the writing was superb. I think all in all, that was probably one of the best Star Wars films ever. Um, my only issue, of course, is going from that film to the older trilogy, thinking, how did that all match up? Um, connecting the two doesn't quite work. And I know it doesn't quite work, because my mom and I, after the third movie came out, after episode three came out, um, my mom and I actually sat down and watched all six Star Wars films in one day, which was crazy. And, um... And we just realized all these kind of plot faults in the films, and uh, and so the, the two don't quite match together. Um, the third and second, tri the third movie of the first of the second trilogy, and the first trilogy in general. They just don't, they just don't fit. TK will see you tomorrow, and I better see what you do throughout the, your day before you film, because that was fun.